Andy, so congratulations on your purchase. Thank you. You made it back in February. So what was the reason behind going for this particular machine? Had you heard of them before? Uh, I hadn't actually. They, they, I only heard of them about uh, 18 months ago. I saw an article a, a colleague had put on LinkedIn and I, I, I kind of just planted up here. And then when the opportunity came around for us to start looking at investing in a machine, I thought, okay, well, let's give Ki Hung at Ward High Tech uh, a go and see what we could come up with. So what is it that you're making here? Because, well, <coughs> from looking around, they're not small parts, are they're not. they? No, it's, we're a heavy engineering company. We manufacture uh, pressure vessels, which can be used for autoclaves. It can be used for decompression chambers. We also do uh, heavy machine parts, which you can see behind you. Some of these are using the, mar the marine engine uh, builds for, for dampers and we do our own dish ends as well which can be used on pressure vessels either our own or for some of our competitors. So what was the need for the new machine? Prior to this uh, buying the key hung we had an old uh, Kearns boring machine very very old maybe 60 70 years old and in fairness it didn't really comply to the latest as health and safety regs etc. It still worked but it wasn't to the standards that we like to work to. So it became obvious we needed to invest. And also, as you can see, some of the equipment behind us is quite old. It still does the job, brilliant engineering, but there has to be a point that we needed to invest in new equipment. And that's when we decided to buy a CNC machine. Cornell, we're here in front of the Key Young U1200N. Now, it's a big machine. I must be quite daunting, but how easy was it for you to start using it? Uh, it was very challenging because obviously the, the machine size is really big for comparing to the other, other machine that I've been working on. Uh, but it's very challenging and it's, it's really good, really good, really powerful machine. Now it's quite a big machine, must be very daunting, but how easy is it to use? Uh, at the beginning it was really challenging, uh, but obviously with the training it made it really easier. But also with a machine this big, obviously you're going to be putting um, bigger parts on it. What about machine visibility? I mean, what if you've got a big part here and the spindle sat facing the part on the other side? How do you see what you're going to be doing? Uh, there's a really good option. Uh, obviously, because we have two big doors in the front, with big windows, we, we have a good visibility on, from the front. But obviously, as you say, we, if we've got like a big part, we have an option to move the whole control panel to the back because there is another door as well, which is a really good feature. So this is called a universal milling machine. Now, why is that? Um, so basically, on the first uh, first part, the, the head every two and a half degree can be rotated. Obviously, it can be rotated to basically you face into the bottom of the, the cutter. And, and basically, there is nothing that you can machine in this, um, this machine. So what operations are you doing on the key hung and materials are you cutting on there? Okay, the types of operations, uh, well, the, the, the machine has a four, just over a four metre bed. Uh, so we're doing, uh, at the moment, we're manufacturing some heavy steel doors. Um, the types of materials can range from aluminiums to inconel, so really, oh, really? hard uh, materials. And that was the beauty of this machine. It can cope with a huge range uh, of different materials as well. And the, the flexibility of it, the, the, the range of components we can manufacture is, is huge. So that was, that was one of the reasons we went down that route. And has this opened up new opportunities for you then? It has, yeah. Traditionally, we, we would have to actually subcontract a lot of the work uh, that we've done. We're, we're a member of a, a small group, the LBBC group, uh, and uh, part of that group was subcontract parts. Now we've been able to bring all that work in-house and offer a much wider range for our customers as well. So customers we work with in the past are now coming to us, recognising we have this capability, and it's helping us to bring in new work and develop our third-party element of the, of the group. Tell me the story then. You went to Ward High Tech, then what did they do? Okay, we explained to Ward High Tech that we were, we were looking for a, 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 a universal milling machine. We also told them at the same time they were up against the, uh, the opportunity of us buying second-hand equipment. Mm. Um, and Ward High Tech put us in touch with uh, a company called AM Hydraulics down in Birmingham. We know them. Uh, that, that was, uh, <laughs> and we went to go and visit. They're a fantastic company, really, really yeah. heavily invested in new equipment. And they have a, a, the same machine, basically, and we're not in competition with them at all. They showed it exactly what it was capable of. They told us the, the highs, the lows of that machine, and it helped, make, helped to give us an informed decision, make an informed decision as to which route we want to go down. So you went for it. However, what I want to know is how easy has the installation been? Because this is not a small machine, and you said that you had a machine that it's replaced. So how have Ward High Tech dealt with that? Well, the, the key thing is, it, it, this is the first CNC machine we had in the first place, so we've really needed our hand holding right the way through the process. 
uh, as you quite rightly say, we had an old boring machine which we had to uh, get out the uh, out the factory. And um, in fairness to Ward High Tech, they're the only company that offered a complete package. They project manage everything from sourcing a company to tech, remove the old machine. Really? To, to doing the foundations, doing the installation. They did everything and project managed a whole lot. So it made that process so much easier for us. And of course, they've, they've supplied an awful lot of training uh, and development uh, as well. So they've seen, they've literally held our hand from conception and the decision to go down the route of buying a new machine right the way through getting the machine up and running and now we're actually doing some further investment with them on a new piece of equipment to make it the fourth axis. So how stable is this machine? Obviously the spindles stock out quite away. Do you not get any vibration? What kind of how heavy how heavy cuts are you taking? Um, the machine can take really big cuts to two or three millimeters depth of a cut. Uh, by feed rate you can go up to three thousand, five thousand uh, millimeter per minute. So it's really, really stable. Yes, yeah, so you go in half a minute. You go in uh, 0.5 millimeters per tooth on this, in, in in this kind of heavy, this carbon steel. And you, what kind of spindle load are you getting on that operation? Uh, just up to 10, 10, 15 percent. So nice. it's not really. So it's that 37 kilowatt spindle that's that's got a real load of torque behind it. It is. I mean, yeah. you can you can take big cuts in, in in large materials, and you need that with big parts like this. Yes, yes, you absolutely need it for yeah. So how many tools are there in this machine? So in this machine goes 24 tools, um, including it can be set uh, U drills, thread mills, button cutters, boring bars. So basically you have nearly everything what you need for, to complete a job from start to, begin, um, start to end. Brilliant. And also the control. How, how easy is the control to use? It is very easy. Um, there are, you can program it point to point. You can have a, a can cycles and also if, if you have a rotate table, it may make it very easy to rotate the planes once you have to use a rotate table with it. Exactly, so once you get the rotary table on, the, the control can already handle that. Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. How's the service been from Ward High Tech? I know you've been dealing with Julian. It's been out outstanding, actually. The whole team there, they're superb. If we have a problem, we literally ring them up on a, 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 during the day that you can guarantee they'll have an engineer here the following day to sort whatever problem out. If it's a training issue, they'll bring someone in to help us with the development. If it's a mechanical, electrical area, they'll bring in the right expert and, uh, and get the problem resolved. And I hear they have quite good finance packages. We always talk about these. Did you make use of that or not? Um, we considered it, to be fair, because obviously cash is tight and during the COVID it's been tight for everyone but we made a, a business decision the group would help fund it so actually we got the fund we, we funded it ourselves. Okay and the future for LBBC Beechwood what, 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 what would you the fancy another machine? <laughs> the, the future is really growing the CNC part of the business so we as a group we outsource an awful lot of components as we say we can't continue with these machines forever ad infinitum it's becoming more and more difficult to recruit the skills that we need it's a sort of dying trade and it's much easier for us to bring in apprentices train them on cnc equipment so that's the future and we're looking at investing again next year in some more equipment mm -hmm.